think you'll ever move away from DJing and go more into the production? Well, side. I do a lot of production anyway. The yeah. DJing does eat up a lot of the time for that, but the DJing keeps you on ground level, you know, as far as what people are into, yeah. and it's it's also it's, a, it's sort of the glue that holds everything together. If there's like a lapse in production, or there's an album out, and there's a gap while you might be touring somewhere else, or whatever, it just really keeps the awareness up. Yeah. And it's damn good fun. Excellent. I love it. You've actually toured with the Prodigy as well. What was that like? It sounds a bit scary. Um, no, they're very sweet. Very, very sweet. Sweet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They've they've seen it all and done it. It's very calm sort of time. I was with Chris Needs as well. He was because we were just DJing and um, he's the scary one. Together, it was, yeah. it was fun travelling with Chris. And um, yeah, the Prodigy just started like, seeing have a new toy every day. They got motorised scooters one day, zooming around car parks, scaring old ladies in the car park and stuff. And you know, down the everyone's eating. They're the sweetest boys. You know, it's really cool. People like um, you two, the Manic Street Preachers, have actually had the John Carter remix. What do you actually try and do to a track? Um, first thing, I won't remix anything unless I hear something in the track that I can work with, whether it's even just the tiniest little guitar loop or a keyboard sound, or even like just wanting to use the whole song and just do something slightly different. So it's always got to have something I can picture straight off that I can work with and work towards. I can't just go, yeah, I'll take the money put a beat under it, put a vocal on the top with a bit of echo, I can't do that. It's, you have to stand by everything you've done. So yeah. like with those, I just really made a dark thing of the U2 thing, it really stands alone. They were really into it as well. Like they shot their own video to the actual remix of them going down the Nile, mm -hmm. it's quite mad. Excellent. And like the Manics just had this awesome um, trumpet solo, so I just did it because of that. You're well known for your work with the label Wall of Sounds, what was that like? Um, well, it's an ongoing thing because I'm Junior Cartier's on New Camp, which is uh, an offshoot of all the sound, because he's sort of started three more labels. Like Bad Magic is a real hip hop thing, New okay. Camp is a real dirty house thing, and uh, We Love You as well. I think he just started that, just seen him pick the phone up and go, We Love You. It's, that's quite a mad, guitar y, weird artist based thing. But um, it's always been good, it's a real family thing there, you know. Yeah. Everyone really gets on, you know, we'll travel, go out together, have a laugh together. It's, How do you guys meet up? I just went to see Mark Jones when he worked at Soul Trader. He just started the label. And I was, uh... Getting attacked. <laughs> Robert Smith. Will he never leave me alone? <laughs> You've actually produced as Naked All Stars with Derek Delage. What was that like? Um, that was, it was very good, actually. A lot of people think, you know, how can you work with Mr. Derek Delage? And it was a total 50-50 thing. He's a very talented man. He's a great producer. So, yeah, came out very well.